recording this time. Alright, so we're on a go. Okay, so I'm Jo Lyons and I am the project manager of the VRI in Trelden. So, no, like that's good. Yep, that's good. I'm 50. No, you don't have that. So the first question was, how do you feel in terms of your opportunities um, as a Gibsonian woman? And maybe talk about like how you kind of started this project yeah. and yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like I've got great opportunities here, mm -hmm. more than the time I lived in Melbourne, because knowing your community and being connected to pe people as mm -hmm. we are here in Gippsland. It enables you to work together and collaborate and yeah. get so much more done. So with this VRI project we crowdfunded, m most of the money came from people locally who had lived or worked in Ultra Valley. I was a school teacher for 11 years and, yeah, about that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, lots of my past students have contributed to the space. Yeah, I just, I think, Communities, regional communities that actually offer real connection that yeah. you can't find in urban environments. Yeah. There are, you know, there are pockets of communities in Melbourne, but I think the thing about living in a regional community is you have to embrace diversity because you have to embrace everybody. You need yeah. everybody yeah. to get things done. Yeah. Whereas in more populated areas, there tends to be sort of like you know, when I was living in Melbourne, for example, I hung out with parents because I was a parent, mm. you know, and, and you kind of, you concentrate around um, you, what you do, yeah. whereas here, you know, everybody, we need 18 people to be on a football team, for example, not that I'm into sport, <laughs> but so there's whoever can play, yeah. will play, it's yeah. not as... Um, Exactly. Do you feel safe as a woman in Gippsland? I do. Yeah. And that's also for the same reason because knowing lots of people and mm -hmm. having taught lots of young people as well, I, I kind of if I go down the street, I know people, like I know lots of people, so yeah. it feels very safe to me. Yeah. And I've grown up here all my life. But um, yeah. I guess. I've all also kind of been brought up expecting the best from people mm. and I think that um, colours my outlook. Yeah. And in terms of being a woman and expressing yourself, do you, what are your thoughts about femininity and does it define who you are? I don't really think about femininity yeah. that much to be <laughs> I kind of, I've, you know, I've been through phases of my life of sort of dressing up and wearing makeup and things like that and I guess as I've got older it's just dropped off because I don't have time because yeah. it's time consuming mm -hmm. to do all the grooming things associated mm -hmm. with being, um, you know, attractive or pretty or any of those things and it's not that I don't, I, I guess I don't feel like those things actually make you attractive. Yeah or pretty. I think um, as I've got older I've kind of, probably through education, mm. seeing that it's a um, commercial construct rather than a reality mm. and it is time consuming and it's expensive and I've just got better things to do now. I don't think it's important anymore. Yeah. I don't, well, I don't know what anyone else needs to do, to be honest. I, need, I want to focus on things that are important, and to me, the things that are important are education, the environment, you know, and people, like, yeah. and yeah. what they wear, you know, as long as they're covered. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or even if they're not, really, but, yeah, I mean, what people wear is not really Doesn't something that matters that much to me. Yeah, definitely. And how do you feel about being a woman in Gippsland? Yeah, I'm really happy to be a woman in Gippsland. I, you know, I think if you'd asked me that question even 15 years ago, I probably would have been angrier. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess um, there's been, you know, we've experienced lots of changes and shifts, mm -hmm. like in our wider society as well as locally. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I still, 
I'm not going to say that I think it's easy now. I don't think it is. I think there's still lots of work to be done. And, you know, I've experienced things with the building of this space where I've had tradespeople not take me seriously and I've had mm. to get, you know, Craig or someone to explain. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is really infuriating um, when you want to get things done. But, but by the same token, I'm, you know, I don't know a lot, I don't know about everything, and that's not because I'm a woman, it's just because I don't, you yeah. know. Um, so yeah, you know, there's still, you, you can, I can still go to meetings and have trouble with people talking over the top of me, or, yeah. um, you know, men in suits, <laughs> no, <laughs> kind yeah. of. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that happens to me that much anymore because I've become outspoken. Mm -hmm. But it is easy to be intimidated at times. Um, and nobody really wants to be that angry woman all the time mm -hmm. either. Yeah. Um, it's exhausting. Yeah. But, um, you know, I probably still will be until I get the things done I want done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But look, most people are great. And I think um, that the strength, one of the strengths of, living, of being a woman in Gippsland is that we have lots of really strong women and our networks are, are we're well connected, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I mean, that's what enables us all to do the things that we do is because if we have a problem, we know someone who we can call and they'll be able to help us, whether it be, you know, bring a prop in or mm -hmm. lend us a bit of equipment or yeah. put us in touch with somebody that knows more about what we're doing. It's pretty powerful yeah. to have those kinds of networks. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm not, I, I think our culture does more objectify young women. Mm -hmm. So I'm not young anymore, so <laughs> I'm done with that. <laughs> I still care guys, yeah. but um, yeah. you know, I guess that makes me feel safer as well because mm. I'm not having people sort of objectifying me in yeah. that way anymore. Yeah. And it's actually, you know, when I was younger, I used to think, oh, once I'm 40, I'm probably not going to wear jeans and, you know, mm. I don't know. We have this idea about getting older that um, it won't be a good thing, but it actually is an amazing thing, yeah. is what I found. Like, the older yeah. I get, it's just because you get more knowledge, more capacity, mm -hmm. you've had more experience, so you don't make the same sort of mm -hmm. mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll continue to grow even yeah. like I think a lot of people think that when you get older that's just it. Like yeah, there's like no more learning, yeah. there's no more growing. But yeah. you'll keep Oh yeah. for sure. Like I'm always learning. Yeah. I like that probably is one of the you know, people play sport, I learn. Like mm -hmm. I just like yeah. you think yeah. I love reading. Because I think that um, at the end of the day, if you if you want change, if you want people to have better lives, education is the only way. Mm -hmm. if, if you give them handouts or um, things like that, it, it solves the immediate problem. Yeah. But the, the next day, they're still going to be hungry and they're still not going to know where to get their food. But if you teach them how to grow food, how to cook food, yeah. or even how to shop, or how to, um, then they can take care of themselves. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, no, that's perfect. <laughs> that's really good. That's really good. Thanks, Gracie. So